Airless tires were presented several years ago as the solution to all punctures and air leaks, as if they were a panacea, but why do we still not see them on the streets? Imagine for a moment a future where punctures are as obsolete as cassettes. A future where you never again have to worry about your tire pressure or being stranded in the middle of the road because of a treacherous nail. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are airless tires? These revolutionary tires are exactly what their name suggests. Tires that don't need air to function. But how is this possible? To understand, we must first remember how traditional tires work. In a conventional tire, the compressed air inside the wheel is what supports the weight of the vehicle and provides the cushioning necessary for a smooth ride. In this video we saw the fascinating process of its manufacture. If you want to see it, were resistance, traction and durability. Fabrics such as polyester or nylon. Airless tires, on the other hand, use a unique internal structure to achieve the same result. This structure generally consists of flexible spokes, made of materials such as polyurethane or special resins, which extend from the center of the wheel to the outer edge. Imagine a bicycle wheel, but with much thicker and more flexible spokes. These spokes are designed to deform and absorb road impacts, providing a function similar to that of air in conventional tires. The tread, the part of the tire that comes into contact with the ground, is mounted on this spoke structure. Unlike traditional tires, which require a sealed inner tube, airless tires are a single integrated piece. This unique construction offers several immediate advantages. The most obvious is the elimination of punctures. With no air to escape, these tires are virtually puncture-proof. They can roll over nails, broken glass, or debris without losing their shape or function. But we'll talk more in depth about their advantages in a bit. Now that we understand what airless tires are, let's take a brief look at their history. Although they may seem like a futuristic technology, the idea of tires that don't rely on air is not as new as you might think. In 1938, an inventor named J.V. Martin patented a spring wheel design that used springs instead of air to provide cushioning. Although this design never made it to mass production, it laid the groundwork for future developments. The first case in which a non-pneumatic wheel was manufactured and used was for lunar exploration. In this video, which I'll leave in a tag, we see how they work and go into more detail. And although airless tires are not yet widely available for passenger vehicles, which we will discuss in a moment why they are not popular, despite this they are already finding applications in various niches, such as some electric cars, military vehicles, construction machinery, golf course vehicles, lawn mowers, gardening equipment, bicycles, among others. By offering advantages that are not only avoiding punctures, but also durability is another plus point, with a useful life up to three times longer than conventional tires, which also contributes to sustainability by reducing waste. But that's not all. Airless tires offer consistent performance throughout their service life, without the problems associated with pressure loss. Their design allows for greater customization, adjusting stiffness and handling characteristics according to specific needs. Some models are lighter, improving fuel efficiency, and their open structure allows for better heat dissipation, ideal for demanding conditions. In addition, they offer the potential to integrate sensors, providing real-time data on tire condition and road conditions, a crucial feature for the future of autonomous driving. It all sounds great, but then, why don't we see them on the road? This is where serious disadvantages arise. Despite the promising advantages of airless tires, this innovative technology still faces several significant hurdles that must be overcome before widespread adoption. Production cost is one of the main challenges, as these tires are currently significantly more expensive to manufacture than conventional tires. In addition, some designs have shown limitations in high-speed situations, generating more heat and vibration, which could affect performance and durability. Ride comfort is another area of concern, 
with some drivers reporting a less smooth experience, especially on uneven surfaces. Noise is also a factor to consider, as the open structure of these tires can generate more sound at higher speeds. But the challenges do not end there. Performance in different weather conditions presents another hurdle, as these tires must be designed to perform optimally without the pressure adjustment capability that conventional tires have. Rolling resistance and debris buildup are additional issues that manufacturers are working to address. We must also consider the practicalities of repair and replacement, as well as the need for new regulations and safety standards. And undoubtedly the most important, consumer perception. Overcoming market inertia and convincing consumers to adopt a radically different technology can be a challenge. The large leading companies in the development of these tires, such as Michelin, Bridgestone, Goodyear, Hankook, among others, continue to work on improving and adding technology, forgetting how to educate the end consumer for mass acceptance in a few years.